Hey guys, welcome back to another video and happy new year. Today I am showing you my 2021 morning routine. I absolutely love routines. I think they help you stay productive and just feel better about yourself and they just help your mental health overall. So I hope you guys can implement this routine and do it along with me for this year. So first off, I use the Sleep Cycle app, which gently helps me wake up. That way I don't have any anxiety when I wake up. And it also tracks my sleep the night before. That way I know exactly how many hours of sleep I got. So once I make it to the bathroom, I like to wash my face. I always use my Carez yogurt cleanser and then my lips get really dry at night so I use the Hello Body lip scrub and lip balm. All of their products are 98% natural and they're vegan and cruelty free. So I just really like Hello Body. I think it's a really great affordable skincare line to check out. Now this is my Moon mouthwash which I really love as well. I think all their products are really great and they're sold at Target so just makes it easy and fun to shop for but yeah I don't know I feel like I always have to brush my teeth wash my face and get my face like ready for the morning before I really do anything this is the hello body lip balm that I was talking about that I really like and then once I do that I start making my bed which is really important to me I feel like if my bed is not made I just can't really carry on and I feel like my room is messy so that's definitely really important to me So once I'm fully awake, I kind of wake up Peppa just so she knows that we're almost going on the walk. And before we go on a walk, I like to get my coffee. I put a little bit of milk and then I add ghee to it. I do intermittent fasting, so I never eat breakfast. So this kind of helps me slow down my appetite and kind of curve it. But it also makes me feel really full and it makes my coffee really creamy and yummy. It does have a lot of health benefits that you guys can look up, but... Yeah, it's supposed to help your skin and a lot of other things. I have a whole video on it if you guys want to check it out after this. You guys know I love my coffee, so that's definitely one of the things I have to do in the morning or else I just don't feel awake and myself. But one of the tips I wanted to give you guys is to write a list of things you want to do in your morning routine. That way you get through them quicker instead of stalling and thinking what's next. So even like making coffee, doing my skincare routine, things like that, make sure you write them down until you actually make it a habit, which if you didn't know, it takes 21 days to form a habit. So until you have that down, make sure you just have your list and it's there for you at all times so you know what your morning routine consists of. Now, if you guys watched my IG stories, I posted that I put all my vitamins and all my medicine and just all the things that I'm gonna do daily in a cute little basket, that way I'm more inclined to do it. But yeah, this little basket has everything that I do in the morning, so it's just all there in one spot. I don't have to go looking for it all over my room and it just makes it really easy to get it done in the mornings. Now, these are my apple cider vinegar melagamis, which I absolutely love. They help me with digestion and bloating. And then these are my ritual vitamins, which basically has everything a woman needs in this capsule so definitely i'll leave a link for you guys for those but yeah having everything in one space just makes it so much easier in the mornings so then once i do that i finally take peppa on a little walk and we kind of just do that for about 10 minutes she's really small so she doesn't really need a lot of time She loves playing with the other dogs, which I'm really sad about because in Dallas, she used to have tons of friends that she would play with. And I just feel like now dogs only just get walked to like go pee and then they just go back home. Like they don't actually play with each other. So I'm really sad for a little bit. So once I'm done taking Peppa out, I like to do a little bit of admin work and check my emails. Now another tip I wanted to give you guys is to be really specific and realistic about your routine and set times for everything. So example, for 10 minutes I'm going to read a book, for 10 minutes I'm going to do admin work, etc. I personally like to do a to-do list. 
just so I know everything that I have to do for that day as well and it just helps me stay even more productive during the day now once I get everything out of the way I like to do my quiet time and Bible study I am doing the book of Acts with my church so we basically just do a chapter a day now one thing that I love doing is going into enduring word on the internet and I basically just research the meaning of the chapter that I just read and it gives you so much insight and context which really helps me to understand the chapter further and I kind of just write notes for the things that really stood out to me in that chapter or that verse. But I really recommend for you guys to do that if you are getting into Bible studies or starting to read the word more this year. Now spending time with the Lord is really important to me so definitely guys keep me accountable. I really want to share my Bible studies with you so if you don't see me doing that definitely let me know so another tip is as soon as you wake up definitely change out of your pajamas and get into your workout clothes i obviously did it a little later but i think that's really one of my biggest tips if I just stay in my pajamas, I just feel lazy all day and it just does not work out for me. Anyway, I like to make my protein smoothies before I work out just so it's ready for me because sometimes I get really hungry right after my workout so I like to keep it on hand. All of my smoothie recipes are from my Tammy Fitness app which is like the best money I've ever spent. It has tons of workout routines and tons of recipes, also meal plans. Now, of course, because it's New Year's, everyone's at the gym, so it's definitely always full. So for this video, I'm going to do a home workout and show you kind of one of my favorite workout YouTubers, which is Pamela Riff. I absolutely love her workout videos. She really focuses on booty, abs, and legs, so that's really important to me, which is why I really like her videos. And then she also has these like fun, happy dances that are like a workout but like you're dancing at the same time now if you are working from home this is something that you can do during your lunch break and you would even have time to still have your lunch because all of the routines are from like 10 minutes actually really from like 5 minutes to 20 minutes so during your lunch break you can definitely get a workout in and still do lunch and have plenty of time for everything Now I know workouts can be hard and they're so unmotivating, especially with quarantine going on. Just know that if you just keep going, do it for 21 days, it really will become a habit. And you guys never know, 2021 might be the year where we actually get to all be able to travel. So you definitely want to have your body on point. So just push yourself, I'll keep you accountable, DM me, and I promise I will. Okay guys, so I just got done with that workout. I feel like my, my leg muscles were just tired from the other day. I feel like I did some intense cardio, so whew, I was just tired, okay? But it was fun. The dancing thing was actually really fun too, so definitely recommend that for you guys. It's like you're working out, but at the same time you're having fun, so... It's pretty cool so I'm about to shower but I'm gonna drink some water because I'm really thirsty um, I posted these on my stories they're liquid IV I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen it basically it just it's kind of like Gatorade but like a healthy version of it this is a tangerine flavor personally I like the passion fruit and the apple pie and then this is also one of my favorites so you basically put it in your water obviously you mix it up and instead of basically drinking one of these i'm basically drinking like like three of these so it just it triplifies i don't know if that's a word it triples it triples your hydration um it's vegan gluten-free um non-gmo all sorts of things it also has a lot of vitamins that are good for you i think this one specifically has vitamin c vitamin d zinc like i said it's dairy free vegetarian soy free non-gmo gluten-free it is also like very travel friendly so I take these little packets with me every time I go on trips and just everywhere I go I like take them with me because they're just so helpful especially like when you're dehydrated or you're like in a beach trip or like any kind of travel trip and you drink a lot you definitely hydrate with these so that's really good but yeah it just helps overall wellness um, recovery so that's why I'm taking mine right now because I need to recover from that little workout So yeah, let's go shower and then get the day, I mean it's already started, but finish off the morning with a quick shower and some skincare and then I'm just going to get ready for the day. So I look so crummy right now, like I literally look like 
someone ate a bread and then they looked like that burnt crumb. Like I look like that burnt crumb right now. So gotta get this fixed. So yeah, let's go. A few moments later Okay guys, that was a great morning routine. I've done a lot and it's barely 11 So I'm just gonna go through my skincare routine after I shower and my hair routine So I obviously cleaned my hair anyway, so what I'm going to use first is this um, Eva NYC um, Main Magic. It's a 10-in-1 primer, has argan oil. I like it because sometimes I forget to use heat protectant and this also has heat protectant. I'm just gonna put it on my hair really quick. I'm gonna go ahead and start with my skincare though. So we're just gonna do a super quick routine right now. So I'm gonna use my liquid collagen. This stuff is... Uh, a holy grail it's pretty expensive but i'm telling you it changes your skin like immediately and every time i use it my skin has never looked better i used to look at old photos and i was like why did my skin used to look so good and i promise you it's because i used this product back in the day a lot and then i kind of got lazy and stopped but this is the little version of the liquid collagen from Algenis. And then this is their newer, bigger version of it, which I actually like more because like, it makes me want to use it more because it just pumps out and it's like just super easy like when you're on a go. And for me, to be honest, like this version was just not it. Like you have to do this a lot and then sometimes it just doesn't come out as you can see. So this was just kind of like a pain. So if you can afford this one, 100% recommend, especially if you have wrinkles or like really into anti-aging products, like a thousand percent recommend that one. And then I'm using something different, um, which is the Glam Glow Super Water Gel. It's a triple acid oil-free moisturizer and um, it's kind of like a purple hint. So I'm just gonna use that. Oh, I think I put too much, but it feels so good because it's been in my refrigerator. So it's like super cold. So I'm just gonna put that all over my skin and I'm just gonna use this for my geisha tool. This is my geisha tool. And this kind of does lymphatic drainage. I don't honestly, I really don't do this every day, but sometimes when I have time like today, I get to do it. And basically it sculpts your face, but also it gets rid of toxins in your face. My, not my dermatologist, but my esthetician, I can never say that word, esthetician. Esthetician, esthetician, I don't know. She always does it on my face when I get facials, and she says it's really good to do, so I don't know. I just do it because it's what people do, and it also feels really good. So you basically scrape your face all the way up like this, as you guys can see, it's like getting kind of red, and then you scrape down to get rid of the toxins. So you're scraping all the toxins like this up to your face, and then you remove them by going down and then you still have to do your neck and get rid of them so i think that's kind of good enough i don't then i am going to add my moisturizer this is the algenist calming relief and again 100 percent recommend it's probably the oh it's probably the best moisturizer i've ever used like i don't think anything comes close to this again it is a little pricey all of all Genus products are pricey but they're so good so if you can afford the calming relief i'll also leave the link because it's so good like it really does hydrate does not dry out your skin and it just feels amazing and it's a great moisturizer especially if you haven't found a moisturizer that really really like sets in your face that one i promise you is amazing all right i'm gonna go get ready and i'll be right back all right guys so i'm done with my makeup and yeah that was pretty much my morning routine i get everything done honestly before 11 30 so it feels good to wake up early get everything done so i kind of just have the rest of the day to myself as opposed to like waking up super late and then by the time i'm done it's like three and then it's already evening and it's just 
it's a hot mess so definitely um hope this was helpful for you guys definitely tag me in your morning routines if there's anything that you implement from this video please let me know i would love to see it but yeah that's pretty much it guys i hope you guys have a great start to 2021 and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time